Welcome back to Uplifting Interviews with Total Strangers. We've got Jared and Jada, Jada from New Orleans. Yes. And who doesn't love New Orleans? Right, the drinking. The drinking, you can drink right in the middle of the street, walk down the street in front of a cop and, yeah. and say, hello, Ossifer, <laughs> <laughs> right? Off the, off the, a beer too, off the. Oh, there you go. I've never done that. But. <laughs> Actually, at one time, my name is Monty, right? I'm walking down, uh, I was at a convention. I'm walking down the middle of uh, Bourbon Street, and, you know, everyone's partying, and it was like, I don't know, one in the morning, and people are on the balcony yelling, Monty, Monty. And I'm thinking, what? <laughs> I'm from Los Angeles, right? right. What? Well, it was the time when the full Monty was uh, the movie that came out. So basically, they were wanting me to do the full Monty. Oh. <laughs> so, that, that was pretty funny. <clears throat> so what do you all do in New Orleans? Well, right now I'm in school for health systems management. Okay, very good. And I'm, I'm in school for animation and graphic design. Wonderful. So um, that phone I was telling you about, that's a 3D phone. And animation lends itself for 3D, right? Right. So if you come up with some 3D content, let me know because they're licensing content for the for the phone. Okay. It's going to be a, a big phone. But uh, so you're both students. Yes. And are you guys a couple? Yes. And how long have you been a couple? Two years. Two years. Yes. And how old are you two? I'm 28. 28? Yes. 23. 23, 28. Lovebirds yes. from New Orleans. Yes. And you came out, and we're going to Hollywood. Hi. And this is your first time in Hollywood? Yes. I should follow you with a camera. What are you expecting? <laughs> what are you expecting to see in Hollywood today? Uh, you know, the regular, you know, Walk of Fame, Chinese Walk. Theater, you know, the people dressed up as superheroes, right. and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, you're going to see that. <laughs> a lot of people think it's a little bit more glamorous than what they actually see because there's the bums. Right. That's just, I noticed that because that's just like in New Orleans. When people come from Mardi Gras, all they think, oh, I'm just about to get drunk, get some Mardi Gras beach, just live it up. But they have a lot of bums just like out here. Like they have their own little tents under the, under the bridge in New Orleans. They have tents around here it's just like a little Right, section. right. So how long are you here for and how long have you been here? We're here for five days. And this is your first day? Day one? Yes. Yeah. Day one. Day one. <laughs> so you arrived last night then? Yes. And, and it's day one and it is no, uh, one o'clock on a cloudy day. So, sorry, sorry it's cloudy because it's, it's always sunny in Southern California. Right. <laughs> I thought it was going to rain. I was so scared. Now will you be, you'll be here Sunday that means. Yes. What is your plans on Sunday? Uh, going to this uh, Adidas Festival on Sunday. Where is that at? Well, Sunday is the day I recommend people go see the, um, the iconic um, Venice Boardwalk. Okay. You're going to see people that have been performing for 30-odd years, you know, street musicians, artisans, freaks, um, <laughs> every known shape of humanity, um, a lot of knickknacks. You know, people take a, a can and make a piece of art out of it. It's just, you know, there's a lot of things you can buy. and. It's just, it's an icon. There's two million people visit it every year. They got the, um, of course, right down at the end of the boardwalk. They've got the um, the pier, you know, with the, you know, uh, what do you call that Ferris wheel, roller coasters, and things like that. But I mean, Sunday's the best day to see the Venice Boardwalk, and you might get a little high walking down the street from all the pot, but <laughs> but uh, that's cool. And uh, I mean, uh, a lot of people like to walk the Hollywood sign. Which is not far from where you're going now. <clears throat> Pantages is obviously, you know, you're going to see that today. Walk of Fame is very cool. Um, all the all the poor, starving, starving artists dressed up as the superheroes, as you said. You know, <laughs> but Delhi is a great place to visit. Wouldn't want to live here. <laughs> I always tell people there should only be two reasons you want to live in a big like city like this: to find your mate or to make a bunch of money. Because right. you could do both those here. Because if you can't make money in Los Angeles, I don't think you can make money anywhere. Right. And uh, there's lots of uh, people here, so it's possible to meet a mate here. <laughs> right. <clears throat> the traffic is full. 
it's horrible. We're going seven miles, and it's gonna take us 27 minutes, according to the <laughs> computer. Yeah, well, there's 10 million people here. How many people in New Orleans? Are you guys from New Orleans? Well, he's from New Orleans, but I'm from Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge? Yeah, the capital. Oh, wow. What's that? That's traffic on it. So, um, you got any uplifting stories for my uh, interview here? How uh, you met, maybe a unique story come to mind? We met on POF, Plenty of Fish. Yes. POF? Yeah. Yes. What's it, what does it stand for? It's kind of like Tinder. Okay, um, I, I heard of Tinder. Okay, so people give the dating social media apps a bad name and a bad rep because most people really go on there to hook up. Right. Well, I think if you're honest, yeah. you know, you're going to find you know, a match. Right. But how many people are honest? <laughs> uh, I think the reason people aren't honest is because no, no one wants to get hurt. So they put a facade up. And then if you don't like, if you like that facade, great, you go forward. If you don't like it, they don't get hurt. The problem is, is they fall in love or like with that facade. Right. And then finally, when you get comfortable with the person, you reveal your true self. And that's not who they fell in love with. Right, <laughs> so the monster that, comes out. That's a dilemma. The monster comes out, exactly. That's what a show catfish comes So, ah. that's where what? <laughs> so that's what a show catfish comes in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, everybody get past that cupcake stage. Like, I feel like the first three months is the cupcake stage. Everything's good. You're going on dates. Yeah, he still thinks you're cute. Y'all haven't fought around each other yet. <laughs> like, you know, it's... That's exactly what it is. That's exactly like, what it is. Who that farts point? on a first date, you know? Like, nobody, oh, I'm not going to eat so much in front of him, so right. I don't want him to Best behavior. Who? Facade. I, That's the facade, right? Right. So, once that first day of that fourth one hit, wham, everybody, oh, he gets on my nerve. All she want to do is argue. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and then try 30 years later. Right. Oh, I'm sick of him. I want a divorce. <laughs> That, I think that's where the, uh, the grumpy old couples come from. Like, they don't want to leave each other, but they sick of each other. It's like you having a jacket that you're really comfortable with. Yep. It's dirty as hell. You don't see it being dirty, but it's just real comfortable, and, you know, you don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> you're comfortable with that jacket. Well, you know, it's not, it's not all, you know, passion at first. Right. You know, then it's friend. hopefully it's friendship, and then it's companionship, you know. Um, but, I mean... How, how can the first kiss? The first kiss to me is always the best. It's it's it's, it's, it's so exciting. It's your your heart's beating. It's oh my and god, you know. And you're anxious. Yeah, yeah. You can't have that after thirty years. You know, just it's not possible. I'm sorry. Talked about everything. Y'all have seen everything. Y'all did everything. Like what is new? What is there? You know what is there? And, and that's the thing about relationships. It's work. It's like another job. Yeah. You know, you have to work at making them happy. You know. <laughs> but I tell people that you have to make yourself happy first to make someone else happy. Because if you're not happy, you can't make anybody else happy. It's like the uh, oxygen masks that fall from the, the plane when, it, when trouble happens. You get, you're get you told to put yours on first. Right. Before you, so in that, you know, in that analogy, um, you know, you can't make your kids happy or your, your spouse happy unless you're happy. That's just like uh, this show. They say every time, how you gonna love somebody else if you can't love yourself? There you go. I love that quote because that's a good one. I, that's what I like about me and him because we actually got to be friends first because I never talked on the phone. Like, 
at all. I didn't feel like it was a need to talk on the phone. You can text me or, you know, you can Snapchat me. I don't talk on the phone. But when we first got together, we stayed on the phone for like two days straight because I was working as a, as a basketball manager and we was traveling a lot. So I didn't have nothing to do. So he called and I'm saying, like, we stayed on the phone for almost two days, like on the phone, just talking, 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 talking. And I feel like they built the foundation for us, you know, when the week time does come on, when we do get sick of each other, we still have that foundation to stand upon. Like, okay, even though, yeah, you make me sick right now, you still my best friend at the end of the day. Right. I still don't want to talk to nobody else but you about a certain situation. That's what I feel like. That's why everybody, before you hop in a relationship, you should build a foundation. Because if it's not, as soon as he does something wrong, you're going to crumble and fall. Build a pyramid. Yes. yes. Not a skyscraper. No, that's very uh, astute, very intelligent of you for a 23-year-old. Yes. <laughs> you got it going, girl. Thank you. <laughs> well, I've been married 36 years. I hope you guys get married and can last that long and, and keep, keep the friendship, keep the romance, keep the, the fun, that's the keep plan. the humor. Yes. Humor is important. That's the plan. That's the plan. And I uh, hope Hollywood doesn't eat you up here. No. <laughs> hey, thanks for being on the show. No problem. And uh, you've been watching uplifting interviews with total strangers. <laughs> <laughs>